Hey guys, welcome back to Brails for Family Homestead. Today's a little bit of a different video. Um, we're gonna be trying out some products for kind of an embarrassing need. So a company called Xpest contacted me and asked me if I would try some of their products, which one of them, unfortunately, we really, really needed. So uh, Joe's gonna unbox it and put it in his car and it is this. It is a rodent repellent. So we obviously live in the country. You can actually even see outside this window, the woods. My house is surrounded by woods and mice have been getting inside Joe's car. So we've tried mouse traps that kills them, but then more come. So we're hopeful that this is gonna keep them away. So we're gonna bring you along and show you. We're gonna put one in the truck too, just because we have not had any trouble, but we don't wanna have any trouble. They also sent me this. Uh, it's for like flies, mosquitoes, and stuff like that. It's a little, I guess like a nightlight trap. It seems a little bit gross, but we're gonna try it because uh, I get a lot of moths and stuff that try and come in my kitchen door at night because the lights are always on. So let's unbox these and let's hope it works. Okay, so here's the product. So it's apparently two little boxes um, and they, it says that it's ch changing ultrasound and bright flash keep pests away from your vehicle and property. Um, it's a two pack and, and you can either uh, put it in your, under your hood by your engine, you put it in your footwells or your car, in your glove box, stuff like that, wherever, wherever you think that it will, uh, your, your, the rodents are. Um, so we'll just go ahead and open this up and see you with it. All right. So this, so there's multiple ways that you can actually power these that I, I read. Um, these are, looks like cables that you can hook up to your battery of your car for power. And what I also read is that it does, when the car is in moving, that it actually, they will shut off um, until it's not moving anymore. Uh, just to kind of conserve on power. But anyway, so... Here's one of the boxes, we'll just go ahead and open it up. Sorry. Okay, so this is the box. Um, it takes four AA batteries, or you can hook this up to, to your battery of your car, and there's the plug at the bottom. Um, and then there's another option. I don't see that you're able to, but there's another option they said that you can actually plug it into. Oh. If you have a uh, connection in your wall, if you have something that you want to use inside or something, there's a USB cable that you can actually plug it into a a connection into your wall that has like a little box that you can plug, like a charging phone, a charge, mm -hmm. a phone charger. You can plug it into that, um, and you can power it that way. We are actually going to use the um, battery. Uh, they said in the directions that it can la the batteries can last up to three months. They tested it at one month, and they said the the batteries were, were still going. So they estimated about three months of the batteries. So um, so once you put the batteries in, um, you just turn it on, and that's it. Um, it starts making a noise. And we, <laughs> it has a cat face on it. Yeah, it has a, <laughs> it has a cat face on it, and these light up, actually. So um, let me get the batteries in, and we can uh, turn it on and show you how, what it looks like. So... I got the batteries in. Um, I haven't turned it on or anything. I did uh, forget to mention that if you wanted to put it under the hood, I was wondering how that even works. I mean, <laughs> how you even do that? Well, they actually give you zip ties that you, you zip tie it to someplace under the hood. Has um, little, little hooks to Yep, so you have little hooks that you can, you can plug it in. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it sounds like here. Oh gosh. <laughs> I was just say it doesn't constantly make that noise, does it? <laughs> no, what it does is it, it emits a ultrasound, a higher range or something that we can't hear. Don't look directly at the eyeballs when yeah. you turn it on. I'm blind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Does it just automatically does it every once in a while? But I'm not sure exactly. But apparently, it emits a, a high range sound that we can't detect in our ears, but the rodents can. 
So we're gonna put these in the car, but we are gonna set a mouse trap in Joe's car too. Yep. So that we can, uh, I guess, prove if it's working. Yep. I'm not sure how well. I'm gonna try to show you how There's he's doing this. There's this cord here that has the uh, has like a protective coating around. I'm just gonna or sleeve. I'm just gonna put it around that and try to secure it down the best possible. I gotta believe that if he has one in the under the hood here and one in the trunk, if this thing truly works, that having two in those locations will be uh, be the key. There it is. So after reading a little bit of what it's supposed to do is, it's supposed to do that for just a couple seconds and then what it'll do is it'll, the flashing light's supposed to flash obviously to, as one way to deter. Okay, so when we turned it on, it was a bunch of flashing and um, you know, it's, it's blinking. So what it's designed to do is, you know, these lights will flash there's actually right now there's a ultrasound like a real high pitch sound being emitted right now that we can't hear but as rodents are supposed to be able to be here uh, supposed to hear it um and then you know so i don't know fully understand all this stuff but it's doing what it needs to be doing right now what i did know is it actually detects vibration so if it detects vibration that means it, it says it shuts off until it doesn't detect vibration anymore. And then after 120 seconds, I believe, it'll actually turn back on. So, and then until it feels vibration again, they'll shut off. So that way it's still kind of conserve power while you're driving, because you don't necessarily need it while you're driving, so. Okay, let's we'll put the other one in. They're the mouse, mouse them. these are the mouse traps we use. Love They're these things. Tomcat brand. One, you can reset them, you can reuse them and everything. We just put a marshmallow with some peanut butter and it works perfect every time. I love these things. I hate that we have to use them, but at least, ugh. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm actually gonna put this to, <laughs> attach to our, my spare tire that I have just sitting in here. Um, it'll just secure it and it, that way so it won't be flopping around or anything. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. So the whole idea is we're hoping that with the trap set, that these are if they're working obviously the trap will never will never trip and uh not obviously not catch anything so that's what we're hoping we'll just have it set for however long and i won't mess with the trap we'll right. just keep it going for a week or so and see what happens yep, we'll keep you posted so this is the other thing we're going to try out i'm going to put it the outlet right there by my stove that door when we let the dogs in and out of it like you just go <laughs> so all these moths or little flies or whatever will come in so it might be kind of gross well let's go plug it in i guess i should open it first <laughs> i've never used anything like this before oh there's two of them maybe we'll stick another one down low I don't know if it has a scent in it I'm not going to use it though I am really sensitive to smells okay so glad that that was not perfumed uh, do I need to read the directions <laughs> there is a film I didn't notice that Oh, I think I was supposed to plug it in first. I didn't really think I would need to read directions for this, but. <laughs> All right, now let's go plug it in. All right, let's plug this in here. Right. Uh, it might not stay in there very well, but. Well, okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah. All right, let's give that one a try. All right, we'll check that out later. Just gonna check the trap real quick. 
Oh, almost stripped. See, it's still set. That's where I've usually been keeping them, uh, catching them a lot, right there. All right. So. Check again in the morning. So far, so good. Hi. So it's been a week since we put the uh, the mouse uh, deters in the car, and um, so far I haven't seen any. So I've had the trap set ready to go in, in one of the footwells and um, I have yet to see any trace of uh, mice where there was a very good chance that I would have by now. So um, so I'm just going to continue to keep them in the car and see how it goes. So far so good. Yeah, I mean, we have had a major problem. We've had a major problem in his car with, with the mice. And we did not want to have a problem with like wires being chewed. Apparently a lot of the newer cars, tractors, whatever, they have some slight, like soy based something or other line in the wires, which is very attractive to squirrels and mice and stuff like that. So I, I did put one in the truck, but I haven't had any trouble with that. I think we may put one um, under the hood of his tractor just to be careful with that. As far as those, those little bug trap things, I have not caught a single bug. Now, I will tell you, I have not seen flies flying around or mosquitoes or gnats or even moths. Usually I have a lot that come in the back door, especially at night letting the dogs in and out. So it could be that, it could be because there's other lights on. So I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I have not, I, I, I haven't caught anything. So your mileage may vary there. So if you are having a big problem, fruit flies or something, maybe that'll work for you. It's not necessary for me. It's not something I'm gonna continue to use. However, there is a coupon code for both of these products. I will put it at the bottom here and in this description for 40% off until September 16th. But for sure, we do recommend that, uh, that rodent deterrent because it truly has worked. We've had a real serious problem. So you'll see me do these videos from time to time when somebody sends me something that I truly want to try or I have used. So we appreciate you watching. Till next time, God bless.